Hello folks. I'm just taking a bit of a break because I'm depressed. In a very big way. Hola B. Hey. I don't believe what today's been like. The little black duck committed suicide in the hospital. Drowned itself. I was sitting on the patio stones and stuck its head inside the water and drowned itself. I found it dead with its head in the water. What a bad day. I thought it was going to be a good day. I thought, you know, I was going to be out in the boat. But, you know, then, then the internet crashed and we couldn't do anything. Like, I, I, the only thing I could do was I took the mobile app and opened up Twitter and I tried to tweet and I still couldn't even tweet to let you guys know that there was, um, I got something stuck in my teeth. Tom, it's beyond sad day. I'm so depressed. I'm, I'm more upset right now. I got something stuck in my teeth. I've washed my hands. It was soap in the house. So I'm not going to die. But I'm not liking this thing stuck in my teeth right now. It's driving me nuts. But I have toothpicks. Hang on. Bear with me, guys. I'm, I'm, it's just it's driving me nuts because I can see myself and I can see this thing stuck in my teeth. It's like... All right, it's got, no, it's not. Oh, I'm not having much luck here. Picking my teeth live on YouTube. Hey, wouldn't you, where would you ever think you'd be watching that, eh? I had a pepperette. I think it's gone. Yes, it is. Pepperette, and I got a barley sandwich, and I'm sitting here with the remaining live ducks. Toothpicking live, the future is now. Oh, there's the dog. Doug's got a limp too, because he took some charges through the bush. And I, and I think he hurt his shoulder. But. M N E. What's M N E, Tom? I'm not good with short forms. Doug photobomb me, yeah. I could put up multiple traps if I had them, but I only got one. But I, I put the trap exactly in the creek where he's where he's attacking the ducks. Exactly where he's attacking the ducks. And, I, and I'm gonna tomorrow. I'm gonna put fresh bait again. Take the bait that's out of there. Take it out because I don't want maggots to be on it if it does start to float in the water, because the water's only about two and a half feet deep. Two feet, two feet deep there. <sighs> I fixed the trap so that. Uh, 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 the door cannot bind at all. It cannot bind. I cut two inches off each side of it. Plus, I took stainless steel and I put a, a, a ring around the outside of the uh, the frame so it can't even twist. Well, it twists a lot less. But you know, if the internet wouldn't have died today and I was out there streaming, I would have seen the uh, uh, the attack take place. I would have saw it would have saw the ducks freaking would have so we would have been out there on the water streaming and it, maybe I could have got a shot off you know maybe and the trap guys there's a piece of pepper that just that was stuck um, the trap is identical <laughs> What, Danny? That is... Okay, we'll back up here. I gotta read Danny's there, I think. Matt, put a bucket out and put a weak stick on it for the snappers like it. Put plank up against bucket. Put a bucket the snappers will fall in bucket. Danny, we're not trying to catch mice. That's how you catch mice. <laughs> I got 
not how you catch snappers. <laughs> it is Al Gore's fault. Well, that took a long time to answer me, Tom. I've been hanging in suspense here. I had a duck commit suicide, Patty. It, 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 wanted, it ended its life and uh, uh, stuck its head in the water and drowned itself. That's what happened. Oh, the suggestions are banner, Sarah. It's like... Anyway, so... Anyways, I'm just, I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta replicate the uh, water station here. I, I took the other one out. It's over on the wheelbarrow right now. I got a, I got another uh, float. Oh, well, I'll show you here uh, while I'm talking to you. I was gonna just show you. I had to put my work boots on because I did. I bet you I walked five miles today in my rubber boots and with my, uh, my, uh, um, with my, what you call it? Oh man, my sprained ankle. It's just. Okay, I, don't tell me I lost it. Where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, man, I thought I'd be hunting rescue trying to find the uh, float. Show you what I'm up to. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another water source in the yard to help keep the ducks, ducks, the ducks, the Dutch ducks uh, in the yard. So here's the, the other water station. And you can see it's got the float mechanism. So as I thought, instead of trying to refigure it all out, I'm just gonna bring it over here and attach this one on another grid. Because this was originally my, I had this idea, I remember with the ducklings, I was gonna make that trough idea, didn't work out. So, but I have, I've got it and I'm gonna make the this one here in the yard. I'm gonna connect, connect, connect it up to a hose and have water in the, the hose and the bucket in the, in the thing the feeder the, the was a water station so they have water in the yard okay Danny's still on the bucket thing I would love to see a diagram of this Danny draw her up and email her to me draw it up take a picture of it then email it to me so I can see what you're talking about because you're not articulating it very good for me. Anyways, so that's what I'm going to do here. But I'm just taking a little bit of a break because my ankle's killing me. What's my email? Go to my About tab on my channel and click on Business Inquiries. And then click on I Am Not a Robot. And it'll show you my email address there, Danny the Watermelon. And I will, I will review your idea. But my trap, current trap, is a replica of a, of a, of a tried and proven turtle trap sold in the States. No, Marvin, I'm not fine. Not, not even remotely close. I'm not even remotely close. I'm not having a good day. Considering I woke up thinking I was going to be on the lake having fun in my Crocs with a live stream and nothing has happened according to plan today. Absolutely nothing. It's been a, a day from hell. So I got to get that water station so I can move it around down here with a hundred foot hose. Marcus. Apple crisp would be a blessing right now, my mate. I would love apple crisp. Oh, would I ever love some apple crisp right now? I would eat apple crisp in a depression state like you wouldn't believe. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear Spartan, your dog got ran over. Man, that sucks. Way more than what I'm going through. Danny the watermelon wants to know how much you want to donate. Well, Danny the watermelon, whatever makes you feel good. There's the GoFundMe link to help feed the homeless, or just you know the PayPal because you just like listen to me whine, 
Or you do what just Rich did, and he gave you sort of an autumn orangey color, $20 tip. Thank you very much, Rich. It's an autumny orange color. Like a, like a pumpkin orange. Pumpkin orange is what I was like, Rich. I greatly appreciate that, considering I'm not doing the best today. I'm not doing the best at all, actually. I'm hating things right now. I wasn't going to turn the camera on. I was just going to sit here in silence and, and look at the ducks. But I thought, well, I promised I was going to share everything. and I'm sharing it. I don't believe how screwed up I am over my goose, though. And the foot on the poor goose in the hospital is hurting bad. No, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta share this. I know, Patty, I should. But I'll take uh, the the latter advice. I'm doing that though. But I'm not gonna turn the camera off. But I'm, I'm, I'm actually, actually, you know what? You know what, there, Patty? I'm actually having something from your country right now. Take the goose to the vet? For what, Karen? There's nothing you can do for it. Just gotta let it heal. It's gonna probably take a couple, about a week, week and a half. It'll get better. It's just, it, it, it actually, uh, oh, look at this. We got visitors, guys. They're coming over because they know I'm depressed. When I caught the goose with the net, I had to catch it and run. Report the goose to the local authorities, like like the police. Get my neighbor to call the police on the on the turtle. So anyways, when I caught the hurt goose, he did a little bit of squawking and I had to run across the yard with the, um, uh, the goose in the, um, in, the, uh, uh, in the net and I had to run inside the barn and close the door because they were all coming after me. It was priceless. I wish I would have had the internet to share it with you because I was like running from the geese after I caught the one with the hurt foot. But look how close I this. Look how he's right beside me. But they won't let me touch them. Okay, everybody's coming over to see me here. The fox attacks a goose. The goose to die. We lost my goose today there, little guy. We did. No, they don't really stick up, James. They just make a lot of noise and squeal. The fox would, you wouldn't even care. The fox would just go from goose to goose killing them. They're not like wild geese. You know, wild goose, will actually attack and bite and flap its wings. Oh, you you go away. You're a mean goose. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of you. Right? You're not the friendliest one. You're a little more friendly.
Okay, I'm getting surrounded by by ducks and geese here. Why don't you come close enough so I can grab you? Okay, I'm getting swarmed by ducks, guys. Look at this. No, I, 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 I put the, um, 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 they can tell I'm down? Yeah, well, it's not hard. I'm freaking depressed. I got silver what? What are you talking about silver? Oh, Danny, uh, the GoFundMe link is all in Canadian dollars. So like $20 Canadian, I don't know what that's about, 14 pounds? Something like that? 13 pounds? I'm thinking if you do 20 Canadian. Whatever you, whatever you want to do, man. There's the GoFundMe link. If you want to donate three bucks, go for it, man. But it's all in Canadian dollars. We're Canadian pesos, actually. We don't we don't do dollars here. Yeah, oh, the ducks are leaving. They're going over there now. We got some ducks in front of me here. Twenty U.S. Well, it's, I think it's more like twenty-two hundred Canadian pesos. Runner ducks, ugly duck man, just ugly. They're butt ugly duck. And I, I, I like, I like ducks, but I'm, I'm not. I, I think they're just a weird looking duck. They don't look normal. They, they look bit freakish looking. Yeah, I'm gonna keep runners. I'll keep the females. I'll um, I'll um. I worked on the GoFund on the GoFundMe. Oh, oh, what what is that? The Kickstarter. I worked on the Kickstarter today, and I got it all. I read. I I got it all written out. I didn't get to post it because my internet crashed. But I, uh, 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 I, I got that done. Bowling pins with legs. I don't get that. Oh, runners. Yeah, yeah, runners. Freakish looking ducks. Don't understand them at all. Magoo looks more normal. You know? He's right out there. But, uh... Yeah, so I got the uh, the Kickstarter thing written out, got it figured out, got the doll and the numbers all done, and then I went to uh, log on the internet to, uh, to, uh, to 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 finally set it up, and uh, I have no internet. So then, oh, I see a duck with a limp. It's got a limp, but the the foot doesn't look damaged. Anyways. I gotta go look at the duck. Problem is, I need my my uh, my um, um, net to capture these uh, little guys.
Magoo and Stripper, they're smart. They just stay away from the, uh, the, um, um, okay, this little guy. Come on, show us your leg. Do a little walk for us. Come on, do a walk. Okay, you, you got a limp. Come on, Doc, walk! I'm, I'm losing my patience here. All right. I'm going to walk over towards it. I got to take my glasses off so I can see here. I don't see any damage, but I see a loose wing. Uh, yeah, yeah, Goose, I know. We got problems today. Today's a bad day. Bad day. Now they're out the front yard. See? They're all over there. Oh, anyway, so I'm just taking a little bit of a, a mental break. Having a refreshment. Put my work boots on because my ankle's killing me. Man, that sprain yesterday, it's sore. And it didn't help. You know, it did not count. I, like, I, I, if I had known my day, uh, it was going to be a day from hell, Mindy, I would have put my work boots on right when I came out the door, but I thought it was going to be, like, easy. I was just a little bit of running around to do the yard, you know, throw the, the rubber boots on. And then uh, now, I'm in, like, I, I'm not kidding you. I think I did, like, five and a half hours of trucking around the property here in rubber boots with no support in my ankle. So I'm in a little bit of pain right now. Oh, someone's giving us a big instructions on camera placement. What's the big instructions? Let me go to here. So tonight, get a better view of the night crew. Move with the tent cam more to the feeder side of the back pan, aim it toward the barn. That way you can see the running of the camera. Yeah, I could do that. The, the thing is, I can't get the tent over to that corner because of all the rocks. I've got that big rock in the way. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a, a construction light pointing from the tent towards the pen. So that way it's lit up. So when this thing runs through, we're gonna get a totally illuminated view of it. Not guessing what it is. Because man, I'm telling you, I, it's like it, it's got one wicked stride on it and it's got an obnoxiously long tail. I wanna know what it is. And it's like, there's like, I, I, I watched the, uh, the stream. I watched it and it's like, I, I mean, I watched Janie's video and it's like, maybe the stream would be a little better quality. I could get a better look. I don't know, but I'll have to wait till it finishes processing on YouTube to find the timestamp of when it happened. But we need another light. We need a light. Yeah, it was a blur because the lighting was bad. Camera couldn't pick it up very good because it was, uh, but I think, uh, no, it's not a fisher. Fishers don't run like that. My, uh, fishers, have you ever seen a weasel run like that? You know? You have the timestamp, what time was that, Jennifer? Like on the, on the upload right now on YouTube? Like it's, YouTube's finished processing the feed? So now it's a video, not a four hour DVR? That's the problem, man. Eh? Three hours, 42 minutes, and nine seconds. Well, you should post the timestamp underneath the video, Jennifer, so that everybody knows. And then click on it. You know how to do that, eh? Put it the three, the, you know, the, the semicolon zero, zero, you know, you put it so it's like a timestamp. Then you can click it on YouTube and it'll take you right to that spot in the video. Because. Oh no, it won't. That feed, that one there, that feed last night. That's the the twenty four seven feed. Yeah, I lot can't do it, guys. Just realize that that's not a video. The video version was up here. So tonight, what I'll do tonight, okay, is I will put the twenty four seven feed up in the yard, facing the the pen, okay. 
and then the I'll put the the feed that I usually turn into a video. I'll put it at the other end of the the pan so that we can capture this guy with the lighting. That's what I'll do. So I'll just switch the feeds around. So tonight that we can have, we, I want to see what this thing is. I want a video of it. I, I, I can't believe how fast it is. Like I've seen it running through the yard and it's pretty freaking quick. And I, with the light, extra light, I, I'll, get the, I'll get the construction light out. I'm just trying to think, I'll run an extension cord from the barn. I'll figure something out. It should only take us like probably 500 watts of light so I can get away with one light then. One single light. Because it's gonna run through that light and then we'll, we'll, we'll get it. You think it's a Jaguar? It's a Jaguar. A leopard. Blue Skull Gamer is out of here. Well, goodbye, Blue Skull Gamer. Have a great day. <laughs> Why have to tell us you're leaving? Uh, that's a car? <laughs> uh, not a Jaguar? A Tiger, then. It's an elephant. It's a freaking fast elephant, I can tell you that much. I can't believe how fast he was. But he runs through the same speed all the time. Ducks are all even, eh? They had enough, eh? They're all at the front. I purposely sat here on the side of the garage so that we could get a little bit of a, uh, a chat situation with the ducks. And they left. Unbelievable. You just made uh, some apple crust and you're gonna, you're gonna cheer yourself up with it? It's not gonna help me much here. Oh, never underestimate a feral cat, my friend. Feral cats are nasty. They're nasty. They're like really nasty. Okay, right, everybody's at the front now. I, I'm gonna move into the sun here. Plus I got a little bit of a chill sitting here. Okay, they're all at the right at the right at the front 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 yard. All right, I got I got I got to move over to where the ducks are. Felix the cat, definitely. <laughs> Disco, that's amazing that you're you're a tomato connoisseur. I don't believe this. The the ducks are on a migration here, guys. No matter where I go. I need a hat now. Doug, he's probably, I'm trying to think. Where is he? In the garage somewhere. He, he did a photo bomb at the beginning. Hello, Chloe. How is Chloe? I know the ducks are doing a tour, eh? Look at this. Princess is sleeping in the garage. I gotta I got move again. This is, uh, these ducks are not cooperating. Plus I don't have a hat on, so I got sun glare. I'll move over here, because I can. I left my drink over at the door of the barn garage. All right. Oh, now look at, oh, look at this. Now they're totally moving. Look at this. They're going to go around the whole house. I don't believe this. Oh. Do you believe this, guys? Like, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. You thought the critter was inside the tripod? They seem to hate me. They're trolling me. Okay, we got some glare happening here. It's really, really bright. 
the auto exposure. Okay, hang on here. Let me get okay, there. Oh, the auto exposure is screwing right up here, guys. It won't. Yeah, the camera's sucking here. Okay, this is ridiculous. I can't win here. I don't believe this. This is this is ridiculous. Docs. Okay. You know what it is? You no know, it's time to do. No it's time to do. Time I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my chair over here. I'm gonna get my drink. Oh my leg too. Plus my rubber boots were rubbing on my leg and I wore all the uh, hair off my leg in that spot so it's tender. Not a duck over here. I gotta get this this water situation set up for them so they have water here. So I got a stream going right now of an empty water station. There's Princess. Hey, Princess, wake up. All right, let's walk. I'm going to the back deck. I'm going to go sit in the back deck. Do I have a hat out here? Yes, I do. Because I'm going to need it when I get on the back deck because it's going to be blindingly bright. And then I'm going to come over here, finish this, this, uh, this uh, water station. And uh, call it a night. Well, it's not a night for me yet. I still got to lock the ducks up and finish the day. But it, uh, what a bad day. What a freaking bad day. Oh, my ankle, guys. <laughs> I'm limping. I'm limping right now. <laughs> I shouldn't have done all that walking with the rubber boots. But, I, you know, I just, I kept saying, oh, I got to get this little bit of job done, this little job done, you know. And... It just kept turning into more jobs. Okay. I, I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit on top of the hot tub. And that way I'll be. I'll be in the position. Oh, boys, man! I'm telling you, my ankle is killing me. The dog's gonna come up. Is he coming? Yeah. Are you gonna phone a bomb, Doug? <laughs> yeah, I know, Chloe, I worked too hard. I got no choice, so it doesn't end. It won't end actually until I get the barn done. And um, um, the barn. Oh, and the metal shed. And then I can sort of relax. So I'm thinking it's going to be like, well, October 12th, the ducks leave, you know. And then uh, then I got to get that done, the barn and the shed. So I think it's going to be like the 25th of October before I'm going to have like any kind of downtime, relax. No, it's not a fish. Your legs were too long, man. Do you, do you not, did you not see the uh, the stride on there, German Shepherd? It, it had like a serious stride. That's what got me baffled. The stride on it was like, honestly, the stride looked like a coyote. Like a dog length of the jump. Like it was like it was hauling. Like it was running, man. It was. It was, looks like it was running for its life. Like... Every time I've seen it outside, when I see it running around, it's like it's running for his life. Like it's like it's, it's being chased. It, it, like that's the, that's what it's like. Try to catch him. What? Like chase him? Of course, I, the ducks are all staying away from me. Am I keeping any of the new ducks? Well, only if we get to fix the barn. Because if the barn, if I, we hit our target on the uh, the kickstart, then I'm going to have more room. So we're going to have the adult ducks 
I basically, I can keep about 80, 85 ducks over the winter in the barn. That's it. But if I fix the barn, I can easily do 110 because I'll have the front expansion. So, and then I can keep some, because honestly what I'd like to keep is I'd like to keep my breeders, of course, because I, I think they're awesome looking ducks and they're big ducks, they're a nice meat duck and they look pretty. And I would like to go through, because I know Metzer sent us some jumbo peaking ducks and I would like to keep the drakes of the jumbos because I think that would be cool to cross the jumbo drake with my breeders. Now, as far as all the really pretty ducks that they sent us, they're not really big meat duck, guys. They're like a really tiny, scrawny little duck. And, uh, you know, and my ducks, my breeders, are, are big ducks. They're a big meat duck, you know. So, if I crossed it with a big drake, then I would get bigger offspring. You know what I mean? And I, you know, we'll do the the uh, the uh, uh, what you call it? We'll do the uh, 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 the runners too for eggs. But I need room to do this all, to have more room to have more ducks. So I'm going to uh, um, uh, what you call it? I gotta get the Kickstarter happening. So today I got it all done. I just got to. Uh, I just gotta get it processed on, up onto the web. Maddie's somewhere around here. She's with the adults. The adults are off by themselves. They don't mingle a lot with the uh, flock here. I see Magoo though. I'll show you Magoo. No, my hands are covered in purple. Hang on here. Oh, there's little Magoo. Okay, come on, camera. How big is the predator? I don't know. Everything's a blur right now, guys. We we don't know this answer. That's why I want to get this light. What's going on? What has happened? You want me to recap the last 37 minutes for you? We had a suicide duck. Bentley's here. Somebody else saw Bentley a few minutes ago. He's here. What's up? <laughs> I like that. Eh? People jump on, hey, what's up? We must be trending somewhere because there's these new people asking silly questions. What's going on? I'm sitting here after a really bad day and uh, just got the camera with the ducks and sitting in the hot tub and I'm having a drink and Doug's sitting behind me and that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Hello, poor man number one. Okay, why is the camera screwing up? Oh, I know why. It's because the sun's shining on my right in front of me. Be really snarky, Matt. Am I supposed to be snarky? I'm sorry for the loss. Thank you. I've had a lot of loss today. I've had a bad day. It's brutal, guys. Apple crisp, crust or apple crisp? I've never had apple crust. You sure it's not crisp, what you're saying, Marcus? Apple crisp, get it right. Heidi, come on, be nice, eh? If you're going to be mean, you got to have the camera in your hand. Only the guy with the camera in the hand can be mean. Crisp, yeah. Did you, what, did you copy my recipe, Marcus? Yes, Robbie. The geese, yes, that's why we're going to have a Kickstarter. So we can keep the geese. But if we don't hit the geese... Um, um, if we don't hit the, if we don't hit the, no, we don't hit the geese. Um, 
If we don't hit the target or the campaign total on the thing with the geese, ain't gonna happen. Oh, we're getting a little bit of flares here. Solar flares. Apple crisp and beer. I've never had that. Is it good? I'm having really sun, I'm having sun problems here today. Apple crumble. I think crumble and crisp are the same things, Marcus. I do. I, I, because I've seen it. I've seen it. You know, I've seen crumble and it looks like crisp. If I sit in the shade, I'm going to be too far away from the ducks. The ducks are torturing me right now, guys. They're trolling me. They're making me come out here in the open to get the footage of them like seriously if I go into the oh sorry about the bad camera oh I'm doing bad here bad bad I'm bombing we had a botulism duck commit suicide today Heidi they're um yeah, like, it's like, where can I sit? I'm looking for a spot that I can sit in the shade and it's not happening. Apple crisp and crumble are the same thing? I, I thought they were. How to kill itself? It, 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 it drowned itself. It stuck its head in the water and, and just died I found it with its head in the little water dead but, but his body was on the patio stones he just laid down laid his head in the water and drowned himself he had enough okay how am I snarky again plasma I, yeah you're, 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 you're grasping at straws here man I'm actually I'm pretty good right now but I do got to find another place to sit because this camera is sucking um, the uh, the camera is sucking right now. Maybe he had a seizure while he was drinking, or he just had enough of life because he was he knew he was dying a slow death of botulism. You know, he, he gave up because he was one of the black ones that was in there that I treated that was, should have been treated earlier, but I didn't. Because I didn't think about the charcoal thing till yesterday. So I'm getting a chair. That's why I'm going inside. I'm not going inside just to take you inside to, to go inside. I'm coming in to get a chair. I'm going to go over to the shade. We'll see. Watch. As soon as I go to the shade, they're going to move. I just know it. And then I'm going to give up. If they move, I give up and I'm going to go and do the water station. I got to show you something. I've never showed this to you before, but Dot, and anybody that's new to the show, it doesn't know what Dot is, I'm sorry. But Dot, Dot was born in 2014. She's a crossbreed, believe it or not. And she's got one little black spot on her head. See the little black spot? I'll try to zoom in more there. See that? Just that little faint black spot. She was crossed with a peaking and a ruin. And this is her favorite spot. She either sits right there or she sits right there. And I'll come out and she'll just be here. Like I'm not even, I'm nowhere around. And uh, she just sits with her face against the grid. I don't know why, but that's what she does. It doesn't make any sense. And it could be either or side, like this side or that side. Okay, I gotta find a place to sit. dog's going for a cook himself because nothing cooks better than brown vinyl uh, laying on a styrofoam lid laying in the sun you're going to cook yourself do it right okay, so I'm going to go I'm going this direction because if I go over that direction that way over there they'll do the deke out and uh, run around the property 
So I'm going to sit here in, in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, you guys know that I've had a bad day? Okay, let's see if this works any better for filming purposes. It should. We should get a better, a better picture. Oh, okay. Let's try this. Okay, is that better? Is it better, guys? Okay, no one's gonna tell me if it's better. Buffering, buffering. I've got a perfect connection. Oh, now I got a bad connection. This is very bad connection. What? Oh, I know what's wrong. Well, no, it shouldn't. Okay. Back, I gotta move. I get the tree between me and the tower. See, the tree. And plus, I just, I just got raided by the no seams. I got I gotta torture myself in the sun. Unfortunately, a very bad connection. That's what it says. I know. And you wouldn't believe the no seams flying around me right now. As soon as I, I the, the uh, as soon as actually, as soon as the uh, thing said very bad connection in caps at me, that's when um, um, the no seams found me. The tree, the tree and Wi-Fi, I just don't like it. Holy mackerel, the no seams are crazy, but they'll go away quick here. But yeah, see now, fine. All right, we're back to uh, cooking in the sun with Doug. Oh yeah, lots of bugs, man. Hope you have some duck left in October. What do you mean I don't? What are you having your tea? What, what, man, what are you having for your tea? Sir? Tea, I don't understand. Oh, tea, what am I drinking? I'm drinking, I'm, I'm having a barley sandwich from, from Ireland. I'm gonna have leftover duck. Leftover duck with uh, um, some veggie. I haven't decided what the veggie's gonna be yet. Come on, no seams. You, I know you can't handle the sun for much longer. Go away. Oh, you get her now, Bar Jennifer? My favorite duck breed, stripper. Stripper and Magoo. Stripper and Magoo is my favorite. They're my favorite ducks, guys. I, 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 I think I can have a show, just Stripper and Magoo and Matt and Doug. Four of us on an adventure across the continent. Chloe Lovedale loves the peacefulness. Well, I love it too. That's why I'm sharing it. Even though I'm totally depressed right now. I'm trying not to bum you out too much with my bad day, but... You know, we didn't get to uh, do the lake today, unfortunately. You know, but... Uh, because I had technical difficulties with my internet provider, service provider. And it wasn't his fault. He phoned me, actually. He gave me a personal phone call to explain what went wrong. And it wasn't his uh, his problem. It wasn't his fault, the the situation. And he, he explained it in detail, so he didn't make the story up. Can you guys hear my neighbor's lawnmower? It's been going for like three hours. I don't know how it takes so long to cut his lawn. It's like he uses a push mower or something. Somebody swearing in Spanish? I know I need to call the police, hey Tom? 
It's a noise complaint on the uh, uh, the muffler. Oh, it drives me nuts, man. Well, as you notice, I cut my lawn lots. It almost sounds like he uses a weed whacker for his whole lawn, and he's got like I think he's got like three quarters of an acre of grass. It's about three quarters of an acre of lawn, lawn. Like, well, maybe he might actually. Well, it's a two hundred foot by two hundred foot lot, and it's completely covered in grass. Like the guy's nuts about lawn. You know, like I like I'm nuts about my lawn. How you know I keep it well trimmed like this? It's like a golf course. You know. I do a lot of lawn cutting here. Like to keep my grass like perfect like this, guys. I'm 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 on the lawn tractor all the time. Like all the time. Not. I think with battery my lawn tractor's dead right now. I gotta put the charger on it. The ducks are really calm here. There's some, uh... Okay, this goose. I think the goose has got a crush on me, guys. No, we're not losing the signal. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, goose. I feel sorry for the little goose in the hospital. You're buffering, not me. You're back now? Where'd you go? Hmm. It's so quiet. You know, Chloe Lovedale, somebody friended me on, on Facebook with the name Lovedale or something like that, or Love Day on their, their profile. And it was, they, they, was, they had uh, links to naughty websites uh, on their profile. I, 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 I declined their, their uh, invite to be their friend. So just let you know, somebody's uh, 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 using your name. Ducks. So, anyways. I really should go work in the garage and get this, uh, um, what you call it, done. What is the black duck call? Quack, quack, I think. Well, if they got banned, they'd only get banned under the, the uh, um, uh, what you call it? Under the, uh, the fake ID. I'm not buffering, Brian. It's you. Because I got a perfect connection right now. It's definitely not you, Chloe. I don't know. It was a Chloe Lovedale or it was a Love Day. It was something like that. Somebody was Love Dale. I don't know. And she looked Romanian, actually. I, I, I couldn't believe that she'd watch the Duck Adventure, so. If you're 23 and don't have Facebook, you're an anomaly, man. Um, not many young people don't have Facebook, so I, I commend you for not. The triple X poster in my garage is sending the wrong message. I don't I don't know how I would be sending the wrong message. You don't you don't have Facebook and you're fifteen? That's right on. Triple X is a brand of beer. You didn't know that?
Marcus wants to know you, Love Day. He's he's in the UK too. Hey, maybe we could be a match site here. Uh, the duck matching people together around the world. Oh, well, look at the people who don't have Facebook. There you go. She's from Preston. There you go, Marcus. Give her a call. The duck match site. That's it. You got her. Oh, she's in Manchester. She's already running from you, Marcus. You scared her. Oh, he's in Manchester right now, too. You're screwed. <laughs> oh, no. And Marcus has got Apple Crisp, too. So I'd be getting over there, uh, Cleo, if I were you, before he eats it all. And if he followed my recipe, I'd be over there if I were you. Just for the Apple Crisp. And then leave quick. Well, unless you like him. Well, Marcus, I'd be making some more because maybe Chloe's interested. In the apple crisp. Am I related to Jasmine? Nope. Nope. I don't think she really cares where you work, Marcus. She's more interested in Apple Crisp. You're missing, trust me, an old guy giving you, you want a woman, you gotta go through her stomach. Show her you can cook. Women love men that can cook. What kind of, okay, Matt, what kind is the black duck? It's a black duck. Tell her your yearly, yearly, tell her your yearly income. Is that your advice, Disco Biscuits? Uh, what in in and how? I tell you what. Tell you, how many apple crisps in yearly income? So like, we're talking like what ten, twenty thousand apple crisps a year? More than she can eat. Tell her you're on welfare, but you know how to make apple crisp. The important thing is the apple crisp, guys. The people got to keep asking the black question, guys. Your income is 5,000 apple crisp or 50,000 apple crisp. That's a crap load of apple crisp, man, because my apple crisp, they cost like... Like, I, like I'm thinking here with the sugar and everything, they're like, they're like $18 to make. So that's 50,000 times $18. Marcus is rolling in the dough, guys. Cleo, get over there, man. He's Apple Crisp mega rich. Like, seriously, don't let this one slip away. Like, do the math. And it's probably pounds. So he's 50,000 pounds times $18. It's like he's loaded. He's rolling in apples. Exactly, Norm. Apple tree's bombing. There's like 13 apples on it. He's rolling in dough. Literal dough. Hello, loves to travel. Trade apple crisp for a duck? No. I'm sorry, I don't do ducks. Apple. I got my own apple crisp. Wild apples, too. You're probably using store-bought apples, and that just sucks. Now, the, he's going to keep asking what breed the duck is. And refuses to listen to everybody else that answers. I got about 30 pounds of apples left. I'm doing pretty good on the apples. Guys, check out my channels. I got videos. Oh, that was too quick. I didn't get it all. Okay, just wait here. Someone's got a someone's dyslexic. I'm dyslexic, Marvin. You're 31 years old? I'm dyslexic. Okay, Charlie, how come you deleted his message? He's a dyslexic. Poor guy. I, I'm a dyslexic. You're going to delete me too, Charlie? Sorry about that, Marvin. You shouldn't have been deleted. 
Just don't swear because you'll get banned. And I have no control over that. You cross that line, it's off with your head. You're not you're not handicap friendly, Charlie. We got handicap ducks here. You're gonna delete them too on me. We lost a handicap goose today, and I'm really sad about that. I'm a goose. I don't believe it. When I found him down the swamp, guys, I had tears in my eyes. It was sucked. And he was laying there, and he was so sad, and his big blue eyes. And he was laying there, and it was like I walked over, and I was like, well, I had to, you know, straddle the sinking mess of vegetation. And, and he just lift, he was lifted his head, and he looked at me, and he was like, you know, like, sort of help me. And I was like, oh, I'm a goose. No way. Not you. <sighs> and I'm even more depressed again talking about it. It was bad. He was so sad laying there. And then when I had to take the axe and end his life, that was the worst because I've never had, I've never ended a goose's life like that. You know, like I've, I've, you know, I've done culls and I still don't like even doing gooses in culls. Like, honestly, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. Something about geese, I don't know what it is. I can do ducks, like, you know, doing the cull in the fall, but the geese can't do it. I don't know what it is. It's, it's hard. Oh, Chloe's asking how old Marcus is. It's, I've started something. I think the ducks are coming over. What have I started? Marcus, you gonna answer? He's 26 years old. No, no, he's 29. He's 29, you're 23. He makes 50,000 apple crisp a year. You gotta get over there. I don't know if it's a smarter bird. I don't know what it is. It's just hard. I, like I said, I've never, I never had to do it. I've never, ever had to put a goose down like that. I mean, what the hell is my neighbor doing now? Man, that guy makes a lot of unnecessary noise. If I was North Korea, I'd nuke them. Just to get rid of the noise. Well, if Chloe and Marcus get together, there better be apple crisp at the reception. I'll tell you that right now. And it better be my recipe, and they better find some wild apples. I ain't eating no store-bought apples. You guys all laugh, but wouldn't you just crap your pants if they got together and in like a couple months from now they show up in the chat and they're saying we're together, we're shocked up, Chloe's pregnant, and we're getting married December the 29th. Yeah, you guys all laugh then, eh? People going, Matt, you're amazing. You should, you should do this for a living, matching people up. Yeah, it's the same neighbor, Maxwell. Well, sometimes, you know, the old saying, do you ever know the people, you know, oh, I won't date you because I don't know you. Well, how the hell are you going to get to know me if you don't date me? Do you only date your cousin? It's like, it's like, I to some people I just want to, oh, I, I don't know you. I don't know, I don't, who are you? Well, that's how you meet new people in life. It's like when you're down the street. Do you ever notice walking down the street how nobody will look you in the eye and smile? Nobody says hello anymore? I'll tell you, man, we're, we're going down the toilet as, as a race. And then you want to freak people right out? Walk down the street and stare at them and say hello. Just try it. They, they turn their heads like you're a stalker. I do it all the time to freak people out. And it works better if you're wearing pink Crocs. The pink croc sends them right over the edge. (laughs) 
Well, it's not really staring when you're walking down the, you know, and you're, you're walking past somebody. It's called eye contact and then say hello. And they look at you like, what's that word? Hello. What is that word? Is, what's this guy? Get, they get the phone out, you know, like Google Translate. What's hello? You still say hello? It must be a small town in Tennessee because you can't be, Well, actually, not only that could be a big city, actually. I found big cities are more friendly than small towns. Oh, what's going on? Sorry, guys. I just saw a bunch of ducks freak out over there while I was chatting. Okay, the ducks are all hiding underneath the tree. All right, I think we're, I think we're cool. I think things are all right. You guys are planning the wedding already? Sure, sign me up. I'll do her. The, the snappers might have came from the other lake. I don't know. It's just strange that we had no snapping acti activity here. And then all of a sudden, bang, they're here again. You know? I don't know. Oh, hang on. The dog is uh, upset. How upset is he? Let's just see. This is how upset Doug is. How upset is he? How? <laughs> He's shade upset. He's in the shade. <laughs> it's how upset he is. Uh, quick bark. Oh, go lay in the shade. That's ah, Doug, eh? Doing his job. Oh, oh Doug. What a dog. Well, your dog barks and then goes and looks for shade? The barn goose will survive? Yeah, yeah, he will. He's gonna survive. It's just, his, his foot isn't even really destroyed. Like a duck, like you'll know, say, anybody who's watched the show knows how the ducks can get their foot just like mangled completely and still survive. Uh, his foot's got some broken skin. It's got some broken toes. He definitely had his foot you know, it might be sprained because, uh, you know, he might have had its foot and he broke free and uh, sprained his ankle. That's totally possible. Sort of like a sprained ankle like I got right now walking around in pain. So. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, and go and uh, no, they're not painkillers for the ducks and geese. There's no painkillers. Not a wheelchair either. But I'm going to go and work on the water station. So, oh, she just moved to Preston, to Lockstock Hall. You got to get over there. And Ethan's using the voice to chat, but he's not saying very long sentences for a guy that doesn't have to type. The ducks are chilling here. You know, so they had a bad day at the creek too, eh? They're all in the yard. But that's good. My lawn needs a little bit of a nipping. Can we get more thumbs up for the, 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 the depressing stream I'm giving you guys? Only 120 thumbs up, 167 people listen to me whine. And I'm doing some matchmaking here, so that's got to be worth something. Well, I'm hoping I'm helping people with the botulism videos. Uh, I'm hoping... I'm hoping. Well, I hope it works. But I think you got to catch it right away. Like, right away. Like, really fast. It's not depressing? Well, I'm depressed. I'm not going to lie. I'm not my normal cheery self, you know. I'm, uh... I'm, uh... I honestly could go hide if I didn't if you know if I could figure out some way of getting all these ducks back into the pen and lock them up I I would just I would go hide in the house just lay down and just call it a day seriously change the duck water give them fresh water fill the feeder up and just go hide am I married what is that, is that what does that to do with the ducks and the depressing day I'm having Marie or are you just curious?
Just curious? Nope, not married. Marcus is working the, the chat here with uh, Cleo. I hope he gets her. Cleo, seriously, man, get in touch with the guy. Chat with him, you know? You meet someone new in life. You never know. Maybe because the duck adventure, he could bring you two together and you guys can have little ducklings. And then Marcus could make you like a whole bunch of apple crisp. About 50000 worth, actually. But let me know how his apple crisp recipe is, but I don't think he could top, match what I do. No, they're not flirting with me, Vicky. They're, they're, they're matchmaking between each other. Sleepless owl. I got ignored. I don't know how. You think her name is what? Okay, I missed that. Sorry, guys. Can I cook? No, or Marcus cook. Are you asking Marcus? You got to make sure you put his name in front or because I could, it could be construed as a question towards me. But I'm thinking he can cook because he said he cooked the uh, uh, the apple crisp. Wait, someone got ignored. I know, eh? Well, thank you, Marie. I know I can't play an instrument, Sleepless Owl. The only thing I play is the internet. Thank you, Sylvia. I'm trying my best, but today was a bad day for the duck daddy. I'm gonna be honest with you. Not a happy duck dad today. Oh, Sir Manton, he, he probably doesn't have a single video on his channel. Seriously, probably has nothing. And then he yells. He has to you know, he do all caps and yell at us. Like, God, go leave the room, buddy. You don't need to yell at us. Oh, Marcus is working it. Working it. <laughs> oh, the ducks. Come on, ducks. Come on over. I don't think they won't come over to me as I'm sitting on top of the, uh, uh, what you call it, the, the hot tub. No, I know. I have a lot of good people here right now. You're all chatting to me, listening to me ramble about my bad day. Oh, there's, uh, there's no maggots in that pile, uh, Maxwell. That pile's dirt now. It's so decomposed, you dig it with a shovel, it's black earth. There's nothing but worms in there. Like, it's like, man, it's like, I'm trying to think. That, de that, that compost pile is, oh, let me think here. I'm just trying to get my head around here. It's been over two years since anything's been thrown onto it. It's well rotten down, man. It's premium compost, actually. I'm thinking I might be uh, spreading it over to the garden here shortly. I can get when I uh, when I do the uh, uh, some cutting, uh, I might get uh, JP to give me a hand shoveling her onto the garden, just spread it all over the place because it's premium dirt. Because I've offered it to so many people, and uh, nobody wants it. Nobody will come. I said you can have it for free, and nobody wants it. Like when you're offered like premium, premium, uh, uh, you know, compost like that. Nope, nobody, nobody wants to, oh, well, you know, I'm not really interested. But that thing is just full of, uh, uh, it's just full of uh, worms. It's, it's so black, guys, you dig a shovel into it. Now, there is some duck bones in there because, you know, I put, I used to bury dead ducks in it. But there's just bones, that's all, white bones. There's nothing else. Everything is decomposed to nothing, man. It's like... It's serious black soil. <laughs> 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 
What was my rank in the armed forces? Private. I almost became a four-star general, but then I got out. I was going to go straight from private to four-star general. Oh, the garden itself? No, it's just uh, that's just uh, uh, decomposing straw. There's no, uh, there's no uh, uh, dead animals in there. I understand what you're but you're off your own as a home person. Jerry, you're just an inspiration. Jerry McKinnon, thank you for that positive, that positive note. Uh, and there's there's a th over a thousand ducks here, not a hundred, Jerry. If this is only a hundred ducks, Jerry needs to learn how to count. That sure looks more like a, more than a hundred ducks to me. But if you never had ducks before, that could look like a hundred dollars, a hundred ducks. But I don't understand. The ducks won't come over to us. Where am I going to put the live stream cameras tonight? Um, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to focus on lighting tonight, guys. I got to get the lighting cranked up so that we can see um, um, the critter that's running through. Yeah, the ducks are doing the shade, eh? Just like Doug. Night vision cameras? I don't have any night vision cameras. Last night's stream was good? Which one? The one with the, the, the Olympic lighting or the one facing the feeder from the outside where the critter ran across? Oh, Marcus is just going to work, so you're out of luck, Chloe. But seriously, get in touch with him. Click on his channel. Send him a private message. You never know. You know? Meet for a coffee. Have a chat. Maybe he'll bring a piece of apple crisp with him. Let's try it. Good way to find out if you can really cook or not. Or if he's just a liar. If he passes the apple crisp sniff test... Then you're on. You're off to the races. Vicky, go to Facebook. It's on Facebook. There's a clip. I, I, it's on. My, if you go to my Facebook, you're you friended me on Facebook, eh? You don't know how to message on here. You click on the channel. You click on his comment, uh, Cleo, and uh, it says go to channel. Then you go to his channel. And then you click on the, uh, the I think it's the, not the, the, the little, what is that? Uh, it's over in the right hand top. And it, you can click message. Well, message or block. But you got to click on his comment and go, go to channel. So then you can talk to him. We lost one of your friends today there, Goose. I can't believe it. I was looking forward to having a handicapped goose. I really was. You know, something depended on me. I really was. No, we haven't figured out, Lara. Tonight we're doing lights. We're doing. We're going to increase the lighting tonight. So that uh, uh, so we can maybe we're, we're gonna maybe we can see something maybe yeah but it's not right that Magoose got taken out by a predator. You know, I would have been, I would have rather have him die on his own than being taken out like that. And then me having to put him out of his misery, that's the part that just sucks. Uh, 
Okay, he's leaving. I'm not talking to him, so he's gonna leave. How many eggs does a duck? How many eggs does a duck a day? How many eggs does a duck a day? I think maybe proofreading would help that one. You made a mistake, Jerry. You, you forgot to type that one extra zero. Okay, this goose, man. Yeah, Cleo, click on Marcus's name on the in the chat and click on go to channel and go see him. Seriously, check him out. And then let us know how it works out. I'm really curious. Stay in touch. Keep us informed. Okay, why are they close to me when they won't let me touch them? Hey, what's going on? Do you guys know we lost one of your friends? Then what, what, Chloe? Oh, good night, Marvin. I don't know if they still feel safe, but they're just they're just they're just Klingon geese. This is what happens when they imprint, eh? Alright guys, I'm gonna go work on the uh, the water thing. I gotta get it I'm gonna get it happening here. Well at least get the measurements figured out. I gotta go. I'll be back though. I still got I still gotta feed the ducks and I gotta uh uh I understand Jerry. Relax, Jerry, man. I know. I answered you. you. You forgot the last zero. Don't be so sensitive today. I'm the one that's sensitive. I'm the one that had the bad day here, man. Cut me some slack. Okay, now the geese are giving me crap here. I'm getting swarmed by geese. I'm going to go and... Listen, look, they're coming over now. All right, I'm gonna go and uh, do this uh, water station because I want to get a water station happening for the uh, the yard, so the ducks uh, have uh, two water stations in the yard, so they can stay in the yard if they don't want to go to the uh, the Death Creek. So that Death Creek is not a happy place right now. I got we got no we got no we got all hope for guys. We got we got a hope. We got we all got a hope that the trap catches that guy. So that I can relocate him and get him out of here, because uh, we were doing so well. Like, how many? How long has it been since we had turtle problems? I'm trying to think. It's like it feels like three weeks. Feels three weeks. Do you think it's been three weeks? It feels three weeks to me. It feels like a long time. We've had no uh, no problems. I got I got to bring a camera up here. It's, all the ducks are up here. I'm gonna be a yard stream instead of a stream of nothing. Because right now I got I got a stream of a feeder. But maybe there's some ducks walking back and forth, and then I gotta feed a stream in the yard of nothing. Except a kiddie pool with nothing there. Oh man, my ankle's sore. <laughs> I'm a hurting camper, guys. Didn't realize I twisted my ankle so bad. Cause the adults are down here. That's strange. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this moved up to the yard. So, and plus, I gotta get lighting happening. I gotta, I gotta figure out some lighting so that we can have um, 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 a better view of that critter. I'm, I want to know what that thing is, man. That thing is fast. Whatever it is, it's quick. It's crazy fast. It looks like the, the, the speed it's running, it's like coyote fast. But I don't know why a coyote, oh. What's going on? No, this coat is 250 feet long. So why am I? 
I was like, okay, this shouldn't stop because it's 250 feet long. Or it's 200 feet long. Hang on. Live. Live, eh? <laughs> Live and delirious and depressed. LDD. <laughs> oh man, what a this is this and I thought today was gonna be a good day. I really did. I really, really did. Hey, that's for 200 feet, that's not much. Just a brutal bad day. Like so much kept going wrong. <laughs> it was like I have I would if you guys if I would have had the live stream like the internet, I could have shared. The misery as it was unfolding. It was just misery. Okay, watch. They're not going to say. I'm gonna All this work to move the camera, and they're going to uh, move. All right. Well, at least there's ducks. Some ducks. All right, guys. If Marcus has got eight, hey, that's right. See, Tom. If Marcus has got videos. Cleo can comment there and they can exchange information to get in touch with each other. They got to get together because Marcus like, he's apple rich, man. 50,000 apple crisp a year. That's, I wish I could afford 50,000 apple crisp a year. I could, I could retire off of YouTube. No, I wouldn't. I'd be the apple crisp king on YouTube then. Delete when you have it, Chloe. But you can't delete it, Marcus. You just gave everybody your phone number. I'm going to call you right now. Let's give Marcus a call. Wish him luck. No, I'm just joking. Ah, oh, okay. Someone get rid of the guy for me, please. Ban him. Why would you come on to the stream and just... Touch? Anyways, do I... I got a little bit of sun today. Huh? I'm a little bit red. Because I didn't have a hat on today. Let's all call. <laughs> Marcus. Oh, I hope you got a call and plan because we're all going to give you a shout. I'm going to say goodnight. Goodnight. I'm going to say goodbye. Because i gotta, I got to work on this right now. i got, I got to at least get this done. My goal is to replicate this. So. I'm going to say goodbye because I also have to get a light set up for tonight. And w everybody wish Chloe and Marcus luck. And, uh... Maybe they're going to have uh, baby ducklings, well, ducklings together as a couple. <laughs>